I don't feel like I have any purpose in my life. I don't even know what the point of my life is. Why am I here? What is the point of it all? What is the purpose for my life? And I told her, I said, I can tell you in less than one minute what the purpose for your life is. I showed her that the purpose of her life was to glorify God. And I showed her where the Bible says, Herein is my Father glorified that you bring forth much fruit. I said, the purpose of your life is to win as many people to Jesus Christ as you can. I said, that's why you're still here. I said, otherwise, God would have done you a service by the moment that you got saved, taking the life out of your body. Uh, the Bible says that God holds our breath in His hand. He could have just extinguished that breath like that in a moment, and you could have gone on to glory to be in heaven and escape all the pain and suffering and misery of this life. I said, hey, the reason that you're here, Amanda, is that there are people in this world who don't know that they're going to heaven. They're going to go to hell when they die unless you bring them the glorious light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I said, that's why you're here. That's your purpose. And she said, that makes sense. She said, I'll be back here tonight. And she was back at the evening service that night. Because I told her, I said, and in the process of you becoming a soul winner, in the process of you becoming a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, preaching the gospel, uh, bringing light to the darkness of this world, uh, becoming a soul winner, I said, you're going to have to clean up your life. Too. Because God wants to use a clean vessel. God's Holy Spirit wants to inhabit a holy temple. Did you know that the Bible says your body is the temple of God? And the Bible says, him that defileth the temple of God will God destroy. See, a Christian can't go through life defiling God's temple and expect to be filled with and used by the holy, holy, holy spirit of God.